Get down on his knees. Yeah. Yeah. And, put All right. down and wash their feet. All right. My goodness. He said, I didn't come to be served, but to serve. Mm -hmm. yes. What is wrong with us these days? That's why this messenger says, see that you do it not. Don't you bow down and worship me. Mm -hmm. yeah. I am a fellow servant with the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. He knew who to raise up. Amen. Amen. Praise God. But I tell you. These testimonies are given to each one of us. And I, what I want you to do mm -hmm. is start thinking back to mm -hmm. that testimony, how it got a hold of you. It don't matter mm -hmm. when it was. Come there's on. one that really spoke to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's one that really spoke to you. Come on. It wasn't yeah. just coming down on an altar and confessing Jesus. Yeah. No, he got in there somehow <laughs> and he started doing some breaking. Oh, yeah. 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 It might have been some jail time. <laughs> it, it, it might have been something that you know about and nobody else knows about. Mm -hmm. it. It might have been, uh, it could have been a wreck. Hmm. It could have been a motorcycle accident. It could have been anything. Yes. But there was something where he bailed you out. Yes. Mm. You know they talk about these big bailout plans? How, <laughs> <laughs> oh, right now? Jesus is the one that's bailed us all out. Yes. Yes. Praise yes. God. Yes. I know he bailed me out. And he saved her life. But you know what? I, for a month, I was running around telling everybody, man, somebody's lying because Jesus is still real and healed. <laughs> I knew he did it. Come on, I said, I was raised in the Church of Christ, in the Baptist Church over here, and I didn't believe in miracles, and I didn't believe I thought God was way out there on the planet somewhere. But he's right here, and he heard me. And I was, everybody thought I was crazy. Uh -huh. My customer said, what's happened to you? I said, I'm telling you, he healed my life. All right. <laughs> I promise you. He's trying to do something. I didn't know he was working on me. I was glad he healed her. I knew I was broken. But I didn't know this until he started revealing it to me. Because, see, I went hard in my heart again. They started acting like Daryl again and beating my chest. I'm the head grill in this house. I'm going to mind them like holes in every door around here. Come on, I'm paying the lease. I'm going to tear it up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it took about a year and a half again. <laughs> and, and my wife had to go through some more things. Why? Why was he picking? Was he picking on Teresa? No, because I had done put Teresa between him and me. Right. Have you ever put something between God? Come on now. Oh, you might not say, "Oh no, that's not there." Come on. Is it between you and God? Yes, it is. Come on. What is there that is between you and God? That idol's gonna be hewed down. Mm -hmm. He already knew where she was going. I, she really got saved. Mm -hmm. I'm serious, man. This woman was. Kind of, wow, man. When we fought, we fought. And I didn't hit her or nothing, but there was things that flew, flew across the house. <laughs> but when she got saved, uh -huh. she quit. Mm -hmm. And I said, man, she must have found the real Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Uh -huh. I, I was sitting in the Baptist church in Hawk, man, and, I, and all we did was just a bunch of hypocrisy. Uh -huh. We'd sit in the back seat and talk about what we did Saturday night. Mm -hmm. And we was wild heathen kids and teenagers. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. But when my wife got saved, she changed. But I've seen a change. Mm -hmm. When you have a real change, you know they really got saved. Come on. And I ain't saying all the people were bad in that church, but we was. Us teenagers were kind of rough. To be honest with you. But when she changed, just that little testimony started moving on me. Mm -hmm. I said, that's real. Mm -hmm. That's why he's trying to break those chains off of us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. Hello? Yes. He's trying to break those nasty habits that we got. He saved you. He loves you. You're saved, but there's some habits that he wants off of you for a testimony. He's really become a new creature. And as he's become a new creature, that right there speaks for itself. The best sermon ever preached huh, is one live. Huh. Amen. Are we going to live Amen. this sermon or are we just going to preach it? Come on. Oh, yeah. We preach real good sometimes, but how are we really living? Come on. That's what Paul gets on to us in Romans chapter 2. Boy, he gets on to the preacher there. Hmm. And he will. But yeah, he kept knocking. He kept knocking. He kept knocking. And finally, one day, he got in. Hmm. Oh, yeah, he got in. I was really, really, really mad at my daughter. You ever been really, really mad at your kids or your loved ones and you didn't know what else to do? <laughs> I mean, you was really just raging mad and you know, I'm, I'm going to fool around and do something stupid. Mm -hmm. And I was going down the road, not even knowing. You know how we, we use phrases? Yeah. I said, Lord, I'm going to have to start whooping that kid. I was talking to myself. I thought. I'm serious. Uh -oh. Going out bars I'm going to have to start whooping that kid. I don't want to whoop her. I know it's not supposed to whoop her. She's 15, 16 years old. And you're not supposed to whoop her. But oh. I had the stairwell and I was shaking the stairwell. She was just a boy. 
Then you just give me a boy. <laughs> Where am I? And that's why I didn't give you a boy, Darrell. <laughs> and all of a sudden, wisdom came. Mm. Out of nowhere, mm. which I knew I didn't have. Mm. I'm not going to lie and tell you I did. I promise you, I knew I didn't have no divine wisdom. It said, do not let your heart be filled with anger. Mm. Love is more powerful. Man, I knew that caught me off guard. Mm. Went right through my mind. <laughs> Down into my spirit. And I said, what in the world is that? Mm. He said, keep your mind open and your thoughts clear. Mm. For when you listen in faith, mm. the Lord is near. Mm. I said, oh, this is starting to rhyme. <laughs> like cat in the hat. <laughs> I guess he want me to get it, you know. Uh -huh. When we're little babies, mm. that's how you do nursery rhymes. Mm. So they'll understand and get it. He rhymed things for months. Yeah. I'm serious. Just rhyme, rhyme. I said, wow, he's training me like a child. Mm. And he did. I was nothing but an infant. And he started giving me wisdom. And it excited me. But then he said, you want to humble yourself. Mm -hmm. You need to go humble yourself and apologize to your daughter. I said, me? <laughs> now, I'm the dad. <laughs> I'm not the one that's got the black hair and the black fingernails and acting funny. I'm the dad. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm supposed to be running the house. He said, that's why you caused this problem. Mm -hmm. Because you are the high priest of the home. And you discipline out of anger instead of love. Well, yeah. And there's many, many people that's got that right there. Yeah. And when you give them that right there, their eyes get this big. I didn't see them. Yeah. I go on people's homes. I'm a bug man. So when I'm talking <laughs> to them and I start telling them this testimony about what I did and how the Lord had me humble myself and, mm -hmm. and, and apologize to my daughter, yeah. who we were bumping heads, son. Yeah. And I, I got on my knees and I said, thank you. And it wasn't me. Trust me, I would have never apologized. Mm. I was hard. I, it was going to be my way if I destroyed my whole house. It was something he put inside me. Yeah. Mm. That's why I'm telling y'all. That's why we can't take no credit. Yeah. I promise you, he put an excitement inside of me that he had touched me. That song, he touched me, yeah. is real. Because when he put that he, that touch inside my soul, I was excited to go get home that day. Mm. You ever been, I mean, who would be excited to humble themselves before someone they're fighting with and apologize and hug him and smile. Mm -hmm. Think about it. You usually, they owe me an apology. Yeah. Come on now. They owe me an apology. Come on. No. He asked me to do it. Do it. Because mm -hmm. the anger had caused the rebellion. Oh, yeah. The anger had caused the rebellion. This whole testimony right here, it works. I promise you. Oh, yeah. You've got one. Nice. Everybody's yeah. got one. Mm -hmm. And it's time to reach it up. Not to boast about you, All right. but to boast about Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. It's the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Like Saul of Tarsus turned into Paul. He did not boast of Saul. He said, mm. I count all that dumb. Uh -huh. I was the least of these. I persecuted the church. I was awful. Yeah. I was bad. And he humbled himself and showed what a heathen he was and what Jesus had done in his life. Mm. 